Alright, yo what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Akon back with another video for you guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use um, any of the um, homebrew apps, meaning file manager, multi-man, stuff like that. get straight into the tutorial I'm not gonna do any bullshit tutorial or, or any, say any bullshit shit it's gonna be a straightforward installation and I already did this on my PS3 super slim so I'm using a PS3 slim from my uncle to demonstrate with because on the super slim it's already installed this will work on every single PS3 and but it's specifically made for the PS3 models that doesn't support custom firmware so meaning CFW first things first go in the link there will be a link in the description box below I right, just click on it and that will bring you to this page ps3 hand um, so scroll down and click here somewhere wait hold on let me see uh, there will be a download there we go download ps3 and then media fire or whatever you click on it you will download it now once you download it you will have a winraw file Uh, downloads there we go all right you will have this oops okay you will have this HTML source anything what you have to do is first let's get a USB plug a USB into your laptop or computer like so now as you can see I already did that on there um, Okay, wait, let me eject this one. I, I'm not going to use this one. There we go. I'm going to use this USB 16 gigs. Okay. So, plug in a USB. What you have to do is ignore every single folder first. What you will do is select left click on PS3 hand bin, hold control. And then click on ps3 hentai.pkg and stack frame version 11.bin now make sure you drag or copy and make it make sure it's on the root of a USB so drag and drop it and it's gonna copy the thing the files while that's doing that in the background we are going to you see it's a bit trippy okay so let, let's do its thing um I think yeah there we go okay so while that's doing that okay yeah, I, I can't select anything so we just have to wait until that's done okay now that that's done you can see a readme folder ignore that one let's go into USB and you will see your files that you just have copied what you have to do is select stack frame version 11 bin right click rename that to where it only says stack frame dot bin enter now we're pretty much done with USB so what we can do is eject the USB eject there we go um, now there's one more thing you have to do you have to use hand mini web uh, there's a tutorial everywhere as well as on my channel for using hand mini web so um, let's go to your hand mini web uh, mine is located on my D drive and then you will see mini web okay in mini web you will see HD docs a folder there you go what you have to do is go into HTML and you will see two of those you will see index.html and ps3 hand version whatever select those two drag it into your um, HD docs folder inside of your hand mini web folder and it will ask you to replace um, go ahead and replace okay it's for now just replace boom that's done I'm I think that you can actually rename the index to wherever you want but just to be safe let's just overwrite the thing now that that's done we 
can go ahead and go back to mini web now you will have to launch the mini web okay in mini web you will see where it says host and it will show you IP you have to go to your IP address on your console so let's go ahead and with the USB let's switch over to our PS3 okay I was recording at 720p instead of 1080 but we're good now that we're on the console let's go ahead and plug your USB into the second or right port of the PS3 All right, what you also uh, have to do is make sure that Hand MiniWeb is running in the background on your PC for now. So, as you can see, I don't have anything installed other than just some games and Dark Store, Hand Toolbox, and my Advantage Tools. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go into your um, Ethernet web browser. <clears throat> what you have to do is go to your IP address now if you don't if you don't know what your IP address is take a look at the hand menu app where it says host and then some numbers and stuff everything after host is your IP address so 192 all the way to the double dots and everything so let's do that there we go okay now you will see this page I zoomed in just because you will see initialize hand enabler we press x on that one there we go and then we do enable hand we enable hand wait a bit there you go you and it's going to ask you to close the web browser let's do yes now what you have to do is by the way if you have any homebrews installed so if you have multiman already installed or deleted don't have any um, homebrew apps installed because I'm pretty sure you have installed those using debug package enabler yeah just don't do that now with this done go into your package manager install package files standard and look for ps3 hentai.pkg so we do that and it's going to install ps3 hentai for us now this will take a little bit so just be patient wait a bit now I'll be back when it's done. Okay, the installation has been completed. Nice. Um, however, you won't see any apps or anything. That's fine. Now on the website, it suggests you to do a reboot and then install any homebrew apps. But I think that you're pretty safe and good to go to go ahead and install any of your um, uh, like uh, what's it? PS3 hentai, we do have that one. Oh yeah, wait. Um, so if you have any homebrew apps, plug it in. So what I'm gonna do is we have file manager and we have multiman. So again, do not enable debug package enabler. Ignore that. You have to enable hand, as in this thing. So we do we. Let's do multi-man. Why not? So we're gonna install multi-man. An error occurred. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do a reboot so it doesn't work. Uh, hand toolbox. No. Don't do hand toolbox. Just go ahead, turn off the console, and then later turn back on. My bad. So let's do a reboot. Oh, dang it. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh. We did rename it. Okay. I thought for a second that I didn't rename the. Uh, file manager to whatever but okay so what you have to do now is go to your still with the hand mini web running in the background go to internet browser and go back to your IP address it will take a little bit just let it do its thing there we go now all we do is initialize a hand enabler with the E not with the A and we do enable hand there you go now go into your package manager install package file standard and um, you can do multi-man pretty sure you can do multi-man there we go it's gonna install multi-man again don't install it using the debug package enabler 
don't use that you have to enable hen um, now we have a multi man we go into uh, file manager because why the heck not install file manager okay so after we have installed the um, the things that we want we have file manager we have multi man and that's enough for me however I do recommend for you to download and install PS Ninja PlayStation patch and anything because it will save you a ton for not to get banned uh, go with PS Ninja and install that one as well right now but this is not my PS3 this is my uncle's PS3 so we're good to go um, now don't use hand toolbox offline soft rebooter because it might work it might not work but it's right now the console is running on different scripts which means yeah you see it's gonna instead of rebooting it's gonna ask me to close the web browser and that's it so yeah again go ahead and turn it off manually do a reboot and don't get me wrong I had some troubles as well and then turn on the PSV I had some troubles as well running this shit but um, from now on what you have to do is just click on hand mini web to enable hand but I'm pretty sure that uh, wait. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that the ones working on a new there will be a new toolbox update available very soon or the PS exploit team because uh, we have this now so now we can use those files manager or actually yeah multi manage stuff however there's one more thing you have to do every single time you uh, reboot your console you have to enable hand every single time and don't get confused in the hand toolbox there is a hand enabler here that is not the same thing this is something else just don't want to make that clear don't enable this if you want to use your um, multi-man or file manager or any homebrews go into your IP address make sure the hand mini web is running in the background then go to your IP address and then here initialize hand enabler come on now there you go and here in here enable hand there we go and now you will be good to go in order to use multi-man or anything okay you don't believe me eh let's launch it Let's launch and this is using a hybrid firmware. You have to be on 4.84 point no 4.84.2, so which is the hybrid firmware. There you go, it works. It's saying refresh software, whatever. What you have to do is uh, accept it. Yes, yes, and yes. Installing MMCM data to internal HDD. Please wait. And it should be good to go playing standard theme. Okay, boom! There you go. We are running this on a non-jailbreakable PS3 Slim, but I also test this out because I always test things out and do my research before I record, uh, unless I tell that uh, inform you guys in the thing. So basically, this means you can also do this on the PS3 uh, Super Slim. So. Multiman is something that I definitely recommend even though uh, the, the developers are still working on this for PS3 Super Slims. However, like the performance may not be the same. However, this is so amazing because look, you can go into updates, you can go to install package files, scan, whatever. But the best thing is, you can go into file manager. Here guys, this is what I fucking love. Your theme, showtime. Uh, but what I love is the PSV root. Dude, this is fucking amazing. You can now actually copy eBoots into here and use mod menus maybe. Um, so if I go into root, I do, uh, let me put that over there. And I click on this. And I put that on there. So you can see that this is the disc it's reading. What is that? Is that 
World War? I know. No, but anyways, you can go. This is fucking amazing, dude. Like, um, let's say I close that one. This is the internal uh, thingy, right? I go into. Let's say you have Black Ops 2 in here. You go into. Um, I think. Dev HDDO. Yeah. Games. Uh, no, wait, let me go back one time. How do I go back again? Oh, shit, fuck. Um, uh, no. Uh, fuck. Um, exit. Click the exit screen, yes, please. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> But you get the point, you can like transfer files from USB to there and stuff like that. I didn't test it out FileZilla, however, I'm pretty sure that it will work pretty much as well. And hey, now we have a RAM, okay. Alright, I, 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 I fucking love this. This is really great, okay, let's do File Manager, I didn't test it out, but my, I never actually launched File Manager. Holy shit, Discord is getting spammed. All right, let's do this. Here we have App Home HDD zero. Um. Oh, data. Oh, no, never mind. Go back. Game. Let's find. One that I recognize. That's Modern Warfare 2, I believe. Yeah, that's Modern Warfare 2. Okay. And you can go into here. We have eboot.bin. And we do options. Properties. No. eboot.bin. Back. Click. New files. Okay, well, you can't do really that much, I believe. Um, okay, uh, let's do settings. This one's different. USB zero. Um, PS3. Let's actually check this out. What can we do with that? Not much. Okay, anyway. Back to well, uh, back to X and B. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Quite nice. Anyways, use Multiman. Don't use it if you have no clue what the fuck you're doing. Um, I will try some mount menus and stuff like that out, and then I will make some more tutorials. But for now, thank you for watching this video. I will catch you guys on the next one. If you have any errors, problems, or just questions related or un unrelated to this topic. Feel free to let, it, let us know with a comment down below or hop onto our Discord server, ask there because we have admins, moderators and just everyone that knows about something to help you out, they will definitely let you, kn let you know. But yeah, like I said earlier, that's it for now. I will catch you guys on the next one. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, I think I said enough. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.